Hello there. My name is Eli, Eli Melul. My friends call me Eli the Greatest. Today we're going to talk about the heat equalizer and why it's so important for us to have one of these at home if you like to cook or if you're a cook connoisseur or if you just like to keep the house cool and keep the warmth where the cooking is taking place. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is the health issue with aluminum. Aluminum has been found in several different places around the world as a cause for Alzheimer's. So me, when I get uh, same information from three different parts of the world, four different parts of the world, then I take it very seriously. So the first thing I recommend is for you to take all your aluminum pots and pans and put them in the garbage and use only stainless steel. Uh, the heat equalizer, what it's going to do for you is going to take the cheapest stainless steel pot that you can find. I found those over there on Walmart, at Walmart, and I got them for like $8. So that's how cheap they are. Yes, they're thin, but once I put the heat equalizer underneath it, it gives it the bottom of a $300 pot. Now, a, we're gonna come back over here just in a little way, in, in a little bit. Um, our heat equalizer is made from aluminum and a copper alloy, but it does not touch the food. You know, it's always on the outside. It does not touch the food. Aluminum is uh, six times better conductor than stainless steel. So we wanna use the aluminum as our heat conductor, but we don't want it to touch our food. So, a Further with no delay, this is the first batch of heat equalizers that we put out and we listened to our customers that were complaining that they were getting uh, dirty. The issue is with uh, aluminum, it's a very porous material. So when something just drops on it, it just absorbs it in so when uh, once it's absorbed in it's very hard to clean it but we listen to our customers and this is what we came up with that's i want to call the heat equalizer 2.0 we put a teflon coating on it an, an anti-stick teflon coating on it tfte and Whatever falls on it, you can wipe it off, you can wash it off, just like you do the pots and pan that have the Teflon on it. So we improve that, we improve that substantially, and it will be reaching market right now. It looks like maybe mid June of this year, 2022. Um, I want to talk a little bit about energy savings because there's companies out there that they put the heat equalizer and then they call it energy saver. Okay. See over here, that's what they call it. Energy saver. And I want to know why on earth would they call this an energy saver? If I take this and I put it on the stove, and then I take a pot over here and I put it in the middle and there's all this space around over here, like all this space around, I'm wasting energy. All my energy is getting wasted all around over here. That's not an energy saver, that's a, a, energy waste. And this is the number one a heat diffuser, plate diffuser, that sells on Amazon. 
and it's ridiculous. I want to compare this one, which is the best one that sells on Amazon. And I want you to see the difference in thickness. This is the little bit smaller size. And I want you to see the difference in thickness. Plus, both sides over here are just flat and polished and that's it. Over here on ours, you see we've got 481 nipples that are heat collectors. 481 of them that they stick up. And their job is to collect all the heat that the flame throws in without it coming from the side. Once the heat doesn't come from the side and it's focused only in the middle, then you have an energy saver. You don't have need as much a high flame just to keep your pot uh, cooking and you lift up uh, the, the pot on the top and you could look down and it's all cooking evenly all around. Um, I'm very proud of this. There's a lot of thought in this kind of an evolution that took several years in the making from something like this, like six, seven years ago, and something that looked like this eight years ago, and these are all mine. Uh, it took us a long time till we got to the perfect, perfect heat diffuser that you can use and people that use it they swear by it they love it and they swear by it so we're going to do a couple of demonstrations over here i got the i got everything going on over here in a couple of minutes i mean we're going to check out and see a, what the heat equalizer does for us and what it doesn't so join me in another minute or two Okay, so now we got the two pots. They're on the same size flame. And they're both on medium. You take a look at the left side over here and you see in the center, it's just bubbling and just in the center. And if you come over here, you see it bubbling all around. In the center, in the side, all over, the whole radius. You know, so that's what the heat equalizer does. It just heats it even all across. Okay, I am back. Let's talk a little bit about the energy saving part because really a, the stove, if it uses a little bit more gas, or less gas, it's not a big difference on your utility bill. What's important is, especially here in Texas, if you have a house that's about 1,500 square foot to 2,000 square foot, your air conditioning unit is probably about three ton. Three ton is 30,000 BTU. That's three horsepower. Every horsepower is 1,000 BTU. Every one of these burners back here that I have, those are my small burners. They're 36,000 BTUs. My large one over here is like 60,000 BTUs. And this one over here is about 45,000 BTUs. Which means the minute I put one of these stoves on, my air conditioning is upside down. I am heating my house more than I can possibly cool it with the AC. Now you throw in the factor of the heat in Texas and the sun hitting on the house, 
and you're cooking in the afternoon, it gets really warm on the house, and your AC could just not catch up with your cooking. So, why is it important to use this heat equalizer? By the way, it's trademarked and it's patent pending also. It's because all the heat is in the plate itself and goes right to the pot. So I don't have to use 36,000 BTUs in order to keep that pot boiling. All I need to use is maybe a thousand BTUs and the whole thing is boiling and the whole thing is working perfectly and I have no wasted energy. And once again, in Texas, it's not just a matter of the money, how much the energy costs, is that once the house gets warmed up, until late in the evening, it's not gonna cool down. And whoever lives in Texas knows the only difference between day and night is the moon and the sun. The temperature is almost the same in Texas, day or night. So you have to be very cautious about how you use your cooking, your oven, and try and help your AC keep up cooling your house. We have more to talk about. Uh, we're gonna pause here for a little bit and I will be back with you in just a moment. So, I want to show you the difference between stainless steel and aluminum and how they transmit heat. So, I took boiling water from my coffee pot over here and then I'm going to take the stainless steel spoon and then I'm going to take this aluminum piece and we are going to start monitoring how hot this thing got. So this is already at 137 degrees. The spoon is at 100, 150 degrees, the spoon is at 108. One thirteen, one fifty one, one twenty four, one forty nine, and this is the difference between stainless steel and aluminum, how they transfer the heat. The conductivity of aluminum is amazing for cooking. I got lucky when I went overseas and I found this nine inch pot that has three and a half quarts of water in it. And it's on my smallest stove, probably about 15,000 BTUs. And look how everything is boiling all over. And this is my smallest stove, like only 20,000 BTU, and it does have the heat equalizer underneath it. And that's what you wanna see when you cook. Very small energy, not too much heat in your kitchen, and you get the job done. You don't have to stir the food because the temperature all around is the same temperature. Well, I'm trying to get them both going, but the uh, pot without the heat equalizer is just about starting to boil. And over here it's with the heat equalizer and you can see how it's boiling. And they're both on high. Both of them are on high. Now what I want to do is I want to take this piece of copper and just hang it over here for a couple of minutes. And then after a couple of minutes, 
come check what the temperature on it is. And then you'll understand where the energy is going. So right now, it's at 107. This one is at 97. But let's give it a few more minutes and you see in a few more minutes where it's at. Okay, let's see how warm these copper handles became. So, uh, try and shoot straight. There we go. 116. And let's see over here. One forty. So it just tells you that all the heat is absor absorbed into the heat equalizer. No heat is rising over here from the side. Plenty of heat is radiating from this side over here. And it just tells you that the heat equalizer is doing its job. And I'm very proud to have this discovery and share it with you. And hopefully you get yourself one or two of those heat equalizers and use it in your kitchen. So here pretty soon, we are going to have the heat equalizer in three different dimensions. The six inch that will fit the really small pots and pans. That will also be good for the coffee, brewing coffee. Then we have the eight inch that's up and running right now. It'll be back in stock at the end of the mid June, till the end of June, we should have it on hand. And in July, we should have also the nine inch, nine and a quarter inch for the bigger pots and pans. And uh, it's also gonna be something that you're gonna like a lot. So hopefully we'll get to see you again and see if we could benefit from this heat equalizer. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.